Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. In the previous tutorial, we discussed about how to print stars in the pyramid shape. Today in this tutorial, we are discussing about how to print stars in this pattern that is reverse of that pyramid shape. Here is the code. First, we are asking the user to enter the number of rows. This for loop is to print rows. And inside that for loop body, we can see two other for loop. One is to print the space and another is to print star. Here, this is called as rows and this is called as column, right? And here in the column, we can see in some places we need to print stars. In some places, we need to print space. For that, we are using three for loop. One is to print rows and another is to print star and another one is to print space okay now we'll see how this code will work first we are asking the user to enter the number of rows and number of rows is an integer value so here we use int function for example we'll take num value as 4 okay next we can see the for loop for i in range num 0 and minus 1 and this for loop is to print rows before going to that in the range function till now we use start and end right that is if I want to print the values from 1 to 10 then I'll mention 1 and 11 here here 1 is the start and 11 is the end value so it will give continuous value from 1 to 10 but if you want to print the continuous odd number from 1 to 10 then also you can use this range function by mentioning step here that is the another parameter 2 I'll mention step that is I want 1 3 5 7 9 so here I mention step as 2 and now I'll print this value and here we can see 1 3 5 7 9 continuous odd numbers by default this step value will be 1 that means if you didn't mention this step then it will take one so it will print continuous number okay here is an another example here 5 is the starting value 0 is the ending value and minus 1 is the step value that means I want to print the value from 5 4 3 2 1 and here we can see the values now here we'll come back to our code okay here for i in range num 0 minus 1 minus 1 is step num is the starting value 0 is the ending value so if the value of num is 4 then it will give 4 3 2 1 here we can see here i value will be 4 here 3 here 2 and here 1 then we will go to the jth loop here range is from 0 to num minus i here num minus i because here in the first row we can see zero space right and the, in the second line we can see one here third line two and the last line three space if you go for the num minus i num value is four i value is four so four minus four zero space here num value is four i value is three four minus three one space four minus two 2 space 4 minus 1 3 space this for loop is to print space and the next for loop is to print star that is from 0 to i initially i value will be 4 so i want to print 4 star here next i value will be 3 so here 3 star i value will be 2 here 2 star i value will be 1 and here 1 star ok so here we use range from 0 to i Okay, now we'll run this code. So I'll enter number of rows as 4. And here we can see the output. Okay, in our program, first we are asking the user to enter the number of rows. And the value will be stored in the variable num. For example, I'll enter the value as 4. Okay, so num value will be 4. And next control goes to the for loop i in range num to 0 minus 1. 
here num value is 4 and the step is minus 1 so it will give the i value as 4 3 2 1 so i value will be 4 3 2 and 1 okay first i value will be 4 control goes to the jth for loop here range is from 0 to num minus i that means num value is 4 and i value is 4 that is range from 0 to 0 so this print statement will not execute and control goes to the next for loop here range is from 0 to i i value is 4 so 0 to 4 that means it will give value as 0 1 2 3 first j value will be 0 it will go to the print statement and it will print star so here we can see the star okay next end is space so here space and control goes to here and now j value will be incremented to 1 and again the print statement will execute so it will print another star and end is space so control is here again control goes to the jth loop j value will be 2 now and it will execute the print statement so here star end is space and control is here now j value will be 3 and print statement will execute so it will print star here after this it will come out of this print statement and it will execute this print that is nothing but control goes to here that is next line next again control goes to the main for loop i value was 4 now i value is 3 and it will execute this first for loop range is from 0 to num minus i num value is 4 i value is 3 so it will give value as 0 so j value is 0 now so it will execute this print statement that is end is space so we can see here space and control goes to here next control comes to the next for loop j in the range from 0 to i i value is 3 so this print statement will execute thrice first j value will be 0 end is space next j value will be 1 space and next j value will be 2 it will execute thrice after this it will come out of this loop and it will execute this print statement so control goes to the next line here control goes to the main for loop previously i value was 3 now i value will be 2 and it will go to the first for loop it is range from 0 to num minus i num value is 4 i value is 2 4 minus 2 that is range is from 0 to 2 so it will give value as 0 and 1 that means this print statement will execute twice so here we'll get 2 space after executing this print statement it will come out of this loop and it will go to the next for loop range is from 0 to i i value is 2 so this print statement will execute twice so control is here now so it will print star end is space and next again star is printed next after executing twice it will come out of this loop and it will execute next print statement that means control is here now control again go to the main for loop previously i value was 2 now i value is 1 and here it will execute first for loop range is from 0 to num minus i num value is 4 i value is 1 so 4 minus 1 that is 3 so range is from 0 to 3 that means 0 1 2 this print statement will execute thrice so here we'll get three space after that it will come out of this loop and it will go to the next for loop ranges from 0 to i i value is 1 that means 0 to 1 so it will give value as 0 so this print statement will execute once so it will print star here 
after that it will come out of this loop and it will go to the print statement so control goes to the next line next control again go to the main for loop here this range function will give the value as 4 3 2 1 these values are already executed so it will come out of this loop so here execution completed and we got the desired output okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care